All right, so we got Mecha Break, the first preview of our video. At first glance, Mecha Break has all the flash of a mecha anime brought to life. Okay. I'm talking massive, colorful robot suits, each with their own movesets, roles, and specialties, strafing across arena shooter style maps in bouts of neon lit. This looks glory. very familiar. I don't know why. Been able to glean from its energetic reveal trailer at the Game Awards, though, is that it's actually a multiplayer only experience. And huh. with Titanfall on ice and Armored Core 6 bearing its PvP behind a few chapters of its campaign, it's cool to see a mech game on this scale fully commit to multiplayer. This game looks very, really, like, really familiar. Like, I don't know why, but like, first glance at the gameplay looks Despite very familiar. Despite their hulking size, mechs and mecha break don't feel like lumbering bots of mass destruction. Instead, they move with speed and grace, strafing mm. to dodge enemy fire. Just to it kind of looks like uh, armored core a, few melee a little attacks bit. Before parrying their counter attack with your shield and then finishing the job feels much tighter than you'd expect. Hits land with the appropriate oomph, and each attack oomph. lights up the screen with bright colors. It's clear mecha break understands that mechs are inherently cool, and Ooh, that a good mech up. game needs to transmit that coolness. Through the this looks kind of cool, I can't lie. Of the three modes planned for Mecha Break's launch, only two, a 3v3 and a 6v6 mode, were okay. available in the closed alpha that I played. Both focus on recognizable PvP structures that you might find in any standard multiplayer shooter with a handful yeah. of objectives to capture or play towards. And there's a solid mix I'm much of, of a 3v3 happening. guy, I can't that lie, said, though. I hope developer publisher Amazing Season makes them a bigger focus in the final version. Plopping objectives on maps about the size of a scaled up Halo level makes for good choke points to encourage skirmishes, but these objectives don't feel balanced. Momentum gets to be just a bit too intense here. A okay. few of the matches I played ended far too quickly because my team captured and held every objective right at the beginning of the game, which gave us the starting boost we needed to achieve an almost complete blowout. Beyond the pace of I mean, if you have teammates that know how to play the game, then yeah, the matches will go quick. Halo. From the time and that's just in any game ever. Of the objectives to its tense melee showdowns and ranged standoffs, and even Ooh, down I'm liking the melee so far. I can't lie. I'm liking it a lot. Like sensibility to the ebb and flow of these matches, and I mean that in the best way possible. I found myself fervently mashing the respawn button through. Bro, the I can't lie. This whole so like get back this right here. Frame sooner, like that I looks nice. Again. I would like to note, however, that my experience with Mecha Break was pretty limited. While I can see the difference in playstyles between various mechs and have cycled through some of the unlockable options, I can't exactly speak to their diversity in movesets or playstyles beyond the descriptions of their roles like attacker, tank, or brawler. Okay. Progression here seems to be pretty well designed around rewarding regular players through a battle pass-like system, though what I saw is certainly subject to change. Okay. In addition to the hands-on time I had with Mecha Break, I also had the opportunity to talk with some of the developers at Amazing Season. About this looks clean, bro. Honestly, I'm gonna give my take at the end, though. And a I'm, I'm trying to digest everything. Appearing in Mecha Break, including its third mode, which wasn't playable during the closed alpha period. Amazing Season hasn't discussed this mysterious third mode too much beyond describing it. Bro, as that's nice. Oh, um, bro, that's so hard, bro. That's nice. Royale. They weren't able to share much about this mode, spare some very vague details about fighting NPC Mecha and enemy players to progress. But oh my goodness reveal trailer you'll see players fighting a giant boss like mech i came away from the closed alpha and the interview for mecha break wanting more thanks to the fun dazzling mech action at its core but i also came away excited and curious to learn more about its third large-scale multiplayer mode here's hoping we won't have to wait too long to see what it's all about for more on the latest and greatest mech games oh is that a it? review of armored core 6 right, as well as the first teaser trailer for mech warrior 5 here's what i want to say here's what i want to say first off um i like the melee in this game already they show they only show like a few uh clips of like you know of i mean i don't want to say robot but they only show they show like a few clips of um of the guy that you know that that, that uh played the game already they showed a, a few clips of him meleeing not shooting guns but meleeing and the melee looks really nice in my opinion um i like that a lot and obviously you know the I mean, you know as we can see there's different forms of like attacks and stuff like that one thing that i do like though is i don't know how to even describe this bro but like right here, when you can't really you can't really see it, when the guy's flying around and there's like things coming at him, I don't know why, but that looks so cold, bro. Like that's nice. Um, and so already we know that there's two modes. Uh, well, I, I listen. I'll be honest. I haven't played the, um, you know, I haven't played like the like the like the, like the alpha or anything like that. I mean, listen, if y'all want to invite me to play the beta, you know, next time you can if you really want to. I'm just I just have to throw it out there, you know, just in case you guys really, you know hit my email you know to be honest but um other than that um it looks really nice man um it kind of gave me like armored core vibes a little bit um again this is nice i don't even know like what to describe this now if they have like a mode to where like you know it's you and like three other people or four other people and you guys just like have to shoot down just mow down this like big mecha that's what it's called mecha yeah that's just like mow down like this big boss whatever then that would be pretty cool. But um, just knowing that this is just like, like an all multiplayer game, 
that's that's pretty cool man other than that it, it looks really fun um you know again you know if you guys want to hit me up you know for the beta i'm down other than that man if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel see you guys later for the next one i'm out and